how you all doing? We're back with more Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. The last time we completed all of Captain Quark's uh, Hollow Comics, discovered his terrible secret that he's actually not a hero. He's a big wuss. And he sucks. Which, I mean, we figured out in, like, the first game. Um, alright, so we got 187,000 volts. Quackery is not all that great. Let's hop to the next planet. Uh, we're gonna head over to Koros. Also, hey, Portable Stove, how you doing? Appreciate you being here. Hope you're having a great day. There it is! But how are we supposed to take it out? My biggest gun wouldn't even put a dent in that thing. Then we will need a bigger gun. Yeah, right. Where are we gonna get that kind of firepower? Found it. Huh? Whoa. Yeah, that ought to do it. If you can get me inside the command center, I can override the targeting system and take control of that ion cannon. Let's go! Hey, pal. Today's special offer is a plasma coil. Mint condition. Still in the box. See you soon. I think that's another... I, I'm pretty sure the plasma coil was another Ratchet and Clank 2 weapon. So let's jump back there and grab that. Also, hey, Tia Call, how you doing? Appreciate you being here. Hope you're having a great day. Stove put the bird there. Let's not even pretend like that's not what happened. Per, per my directives. Oh. Oh, no, no. Okay, so this is uh, something completely different. It's a very, very smart bird. Stuff going in the background that's loud. Sounds interesting. Alright, so we can't pick up the plasma coil yet. It's a good thing we didn't uh, purchase anything else. Maybe we'll just focus on the game. I don't know if I really want to. I'm just not sure about it. So we'll just leave it at that for right now. There we go. Took quite a lot of ammo to take him down. What was that? Ah! There we go. Luckily, leveling up a weapon refills it. So what is this one's new benefits? Version 4 has missile tracking and 
the mines uh, also have extra track and this can lock on. Okay, so now it's also more powerful. Because these mines are wiping them out pretty good. Oh, get him! Nope. So now it takes two mines. Let's see if I can. Get, yep, they went up there. Nice. There are a lot of these jerk bots around. Alright, that's the way we want to go, it seems. Who shot at me? Apparently there's stuff happening around me. I don't think I can get in here. Not that I need to. But there is a back section over here. And that doesn't seem all that important either, so... We'll keep moving. Huzzah! Hooray for here! Oh no! Look how quickly it, it makes work of the enemies. Oop. Oh, it does want me to go that way, but I want to head over here. Because Found a trophy. It was Courtney Geards. I don't know if there's anything of uh, importance up there, though. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know how to get that. Super easy. One of the easier bolts to get. Sometimes the uh, physics seem a little weird. But we want to go up here. Oh, and there goes the frame rate. Very briefly, but still. The grace of frame rate goes they. Very good frame rate. Should 
should probably start uh, using some of these other weapons, too. Because we're going to need to level everything up. If we intend to take on the arena. Chop! Or no, they explode. Never mind. I think this one's going to be a little easier to level up. Because we've only killed a few enemies and pretty much almost uh, got our first level up with it, so. There we go. Level up one. Agents of Doom, version two. Let's see what they do. So they'll run around and shoot at everything. And then explode. this and another titanium bolt awaits us now destroying these obviously gives us bolts so we might as well oh I got a lot of bolts check to see if there's anything over here. It doesn't seem like there's another way up there. Nah, it's all breakables. Doesn't seem to be anything of value there, so let's keep moving. So we saw some robots come through this area. No, that was too far. Oh, here they come. We're really close to getting an upgrade here. wonder what those uh, unexplored sections were, but it's not really not that big of a deal. Alright, that's version 3, I think. Version 3. So what do we get with version 3? Uh, it can lock on to enemies, which, who cares? And now has an acid log. Big hit there. All right, so far so good.
This will be worth why Whoop. If I don't die here. Under, under the influence of the uh, Inferno box that gives us invulnerability. Whoop. Hey. I think we might get another level up on this, but we're at the end of the uh, level. Better get moving. Be careful, guys. This time, they know you're coming. Hell yeah, and we're gonna fuck them up. Okay, no Gadgetron vendor nearby. That's okay, though. Hey, we also picked up both uh, bolts here. Sweet. All right, let's check in on this next mission. <clears throat> I'll bet you miss your old shield charger, huh? Lucky for you, I just picked one up. Come see me if you're interested. Well, hell yeah, let's go check him out. Plus, we got a ton of bolts. Exactly, Funk A. Also, how you doing? Appreciate you being here. Having a great day. So we're going to swing back to Slim's and see how much both of those things cost. I think it's 250 for the uh, plasma coil and then uh, whatever it costs for this shield charger. Same deal. Hmm. This actually might come in handy right away. We can use that for Annihilation Nation. Okay, so we can switch some stuff out here. Uh... Rift Inducer, I haven't seen much use of at the moment. Shield Charger... Uh... That'll be that'll come in handy. Um, we could put the rift inducer there. Okay. 
We'll have to figure out how to make this bad boy work work for us. So let's head to the launch site. Elsa, can you all hear me okay? First order of business is we need to It's not helpful against big enemies. Let's try it on these smaller enemies. Hmm, that's weird. It should actually be doing something. I think we maxed out the Annihilator. The all-powerful yep. Gadgetron Decimator releases a vicious swarm of heat-seeking missiles. Each of the dozen missiles tracks independently. Ratchet, you're going to need the Terra guys up ahead. Yep. Security is airtight, so it won't be easy. These robot Tyranoids are smarter than they used to be. I wonder why it's not activating it. I guess I gotta equip it. Using quick select, which... That's weird, but okay. Oh, I think it's because I'm on here. Yeah, because of the Magna Boots. Or Gravity Boots, rather. As a fire drill, I need you to activate the elevator immediately, then proceed to the nearest swimming pool and throw yourself in. <laughs> mm, how do I know I can trust you? You are squishy, after all. <laughs> Could one Tyranoid lie to another? Only if his lips were moving. Ooh, it's rude. I'm not sure I like your tone. I'm, I must report your behavior to the authorities if you do not let me pass. You're going to be passing through my bells if you are still standing here in five seconds. It's very rude. 
going to have to kill him once we get through. All right, no need to get violent. I'll just phone up Dr. Nefarious and let him know he won't be getting his massage today. I'm terribly sorry for holding you back, friend. Please proceed. Say hi to Dr. Nefarious for me. Ah, uh, we don't get to kill him. It's very disappointing. So. Alright. Ah, here we are. Cleverly hidden against the wall. Excuse me. So does he turn around so we can actually... Oh, wait, no. It has a... Um... It has a jump. Let's see what we, they wanted to say. Excuse me, sir. Lawrence doesn't like the color of this force field. It says it clashes with. He says it clashes with his trousers, and he wants it deactivated immediately. Nice try, Squishy. You know, I heard a rumor about a lumbax creeping around here disguised as a tyranoid. Some good button presses there. Ah, that's a good one. That lombax must be incredibly brave. Or incredibly stupid. Is that some kind of Halloween costume you're wearing? Ah, look, if you let me through, I'll loan you my Amoeboids Gone Wild Hollow Vid disc. Ugh. Director's cut? Of course, you won't believe what those slimy coeds will do when the cameras are rolling. <laughs> You've got yourself a deal. Going back on my deal. You're too sick to live. Alright, so what do we got going on here? There sure is a lot of things happening here. A lot of things. Oh god. Oh. That's an unfortunate placement for you. So those rockets are really not that good. There we go, God. I heard somebody, oh, hey, there's a, I know we get to that. I think that's a trophy? I think that's Lawrence. 
Yeah, it's Lawrence. All right. Really picking up all the trophies here. Time to hack. All right, phase one is done and there are two more. Two more. Last one. We got this. take you out. How about uh, some of this? Excuse me. I think we got him. We'll just kill him the old-fashioned way. I wonder how much damage this actually does. Not a whole hell of a lot. That took a while. It's also really hard to see the, uh... It's hard to make out that we actually are using the, uh, reflector. Oh, that was, that was good on the, the, the eyes. So not entirely helpful, sadly.
I like that there's a second continue point right after the continue point. This is the end of the game. Sure feels like it, though. Damn it. You again? You will pay for your insolence, you miserable rodent. You'll regret. <laughs> Sorry, Nefarious. Your flight's been canceled. Assistance? Annihilate him! Just kidding. You've reached my holographic voicemail. Leave your name and a brief message. Ta-ta! Ah, fine. I'll do it myself. Time to fight Nefarious. Whoop. Oh. Ah. Alright, so... Already not doing super hot. Oop. Oh, all right. So those are the attacks. Okay. I mean, that's right, Nefarious. Your reign of terror is finally sucker. <laughs> I mean, Ratchet. Come on. Oh, no. No, no. I did do that. This did happen. Look at those turrets. Now he's screwed off. Let's be careful here. Get some mega turret ammo. And more mega turret ammo.
Okay, so now. Whoop. Oh, didn't get any more Agents of Doom. Okay, well, I didn't want to level that up anyway, that's fine. His laser only has so much range. So we can make that work to our favor. Really, it's just getting to hit the spot that he's uh, hanging out at. Bouncer version 4 is... Uh, increased power, uh, lock on and acid... So we're almost at its its uh, best version. Getting there. The game is not letting me get ammo for the uh, other stuff that I've got. Namely, the robots and the uh, shield. Oh, that's our guys. Whoops. Oh, damn it. Didn't expect that to hit me. So all of those attacks have a range. As long as we stay out of it, we're pretty much fine. Too many of them. I don't have any more shield chargers. I could try throwing some rift gloves. But I don't think this is going to help much. Okay, that's not helping. Shit, you fucker! <sighs> <sighs> 
I mean, that's my own stupidity. I guess. So right here, I'm going to try using my weakest weapon for this section, because... Oh, okay. Okay, that's done with. Just to wear him down. I don't want to use my good shit here. Actually, now I'm thinking about it, I probably should have saved this for the uh, field. I just want to checkpoint him away from that position. Yeah, this, this weapon really sucks.
Oh shit. any more of those so we're gonna have to go with this Okay, so that's not helping. Just gun time. God damn it! I hate insta kill pits. They're fucking terrible. That went a lot quicker. So something we definitely can do here, and it's very stupid and very risky. Actually, what's bouncers at half halfway? Actually, I think I can pull off a double kill here. There, there we go. So yeah, if you just run past them, you can still get through.
Okay, what else can I hit him with? Still have a couple more de decimators. And I missed both shots, so that's really good. He's gonna do this now. <laughs> it's almost time for my solo. Begin the transformation! I call it Base Odyssey. Now, Lawrence! Oh, if you insist. Now we've got a little bit of help. It's time for some high flying fun. Whoop. Time to drive like a fool. Oh. Ah, yeah, that sucked. There's a strategy to this. So when he fires off this cluster, we want to be at the top, and then we just descend slowly. And we should only take one hit. And done. There we go. Oh, the humiliation! Defeated by squishes! Oh, I'll never live it down. Warning. Reactor detonation in 60 seconds. Lawrence, engage the teleporter. Would you care to specify a destination, sir? Who cares? Just get us out of here. Time's up! What? That wasn't even close to 60 seconds! Live from the star studded premiere of the latest hollow film in the Secret Agent Plank series. The atmosphere is positively electric as thousands of fanatical fans clamor for a glimpse of their favorite celebrities. Agent Clank, 
It seems your luck has finally run out. <laughs> the time has come to say goodbye. <laughs> your tricks won't do you any good this time, Agent Clank. I have been waiting for this moment a long time, and now I am going to blow you into a million pieces! <laughs> Get this thing off me! <laughs> Monkey off his back. <laughs> Do not even think about it. Everybody's got the horny. So that is Ratchet and Clank 3 up your arsenal. Or at least the main game, anyway. There's still a little more to see. Uh, not at this time in the series, no. Clank does not have a girlfriend. So overall, compared to the first two, uh, it has the smoothest controls, uh, the best difficulty curve, uh, compared to the first one, it has it, I mean, everything is better. Uh, the weapons feel like they have more impact than this one. The only problem is, by the end of the game, you don't have enough defense to, ho to hold off on attacks. Um, so, like, even though I had the best armor, it's still, I was still taking tons of damage, so it's... It's kind of... That part they never really seem to get right. Being able to level up your weapons to have more uh, damage ability and also different effects is also really good. And let's not uh, forget that having that... Uh, that hollow shield made life so much more bearable. And I am positive that taking that into the... Uh, I don't, I don't know, maybe they... I hope that, like, getting hit uh, with the shield on doesn't count as damage. So we'll have to test that out in the uh, Annihilation Nation uh, Annihilation Nation Arena. Good old Moo. But pretty much everything in this game is it's just a massive improvement on the first two. The story is more interesting. The characters are more interesting. Uh, there's a good cohesion between Ratchet and Clank that you didn't see in previous games. And as you're going to see, because we're going to be going through all of the arena... The arena is just the, like, the best in the entire franchise. And it's a really good... Uh, distraction from the main game. So hopefully you can see why I consider this the absolute best in the franchise. Uh, from beginning to end, you know, it keeps a steady pace. It throws you right into the action and then it doesn't let up on that. You just keep going. Uh, but it doesn't exhaust. You know, it has plenty of, like, uh, moments where plenty of, uh, grooves, I, I, I call it, where it's just kind of, the action dips down just enough so you can relax and enjoy the level, and then you get right back into it. The jokes are way better in this one, for sure. Although some a little bit dated. It really feels like they learned a lot from their first two games when they put this one together. Of course, as always, we are going to watch the credits. Uh, and pay our respects to those who uh, worked on the game. Uh, it's important. important thing that we do on the stream is let the credits run. Um... So we could see, you know, everybody who, who, you know, 
put in effort and time and um because people don't watch credits and i don't understand why like why don't you want to see who made the thing that you enjoy it's the very least you can do i i'd say Uh, James Arnold Taylor did a bunch of voices. David Kay, I believe, has been uh, Clank from the beginning. Jim Ward has always been uh, uh, Captain Quark, which is great. But uh, from Ratchet and Clank 2 onward, it's James Arnold Taylor. Oh, he's called the Water Worker. So the plumber is called the water worker. And now I can now that I'm thinking about it, I can definitely hear Neil Flynn's voice. I think Michael Bell is also uh the voice of uh Raziel. I have to double check. I think he's the voice of Raziel in Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver, Soul Reaver 2, and Defiance. Yeah, he was Raziel. I'm trying to remember who who was uh, who was Kane. Also, this game does, in fact, have online, but I'm pretty sure those servers are gone. Simon Templeman was the voice of, uh, is the voice of Kane. What do you mean we can't teleport to a planet? I'm afraid we're well out of range, sir. Perhaps if you had bothered to specify a destination. When will we be in range? Oh, I'm sure something will come along in, say, five or ten thousand years. Ah! I don't believe this! Now what? I don't suppose you can play drums. Congratulations on defeating Nefarious. At this point, you can warp back just before you finish the game with Square, or you can enter Challenge Mode with Circle. In Challenge Mode, you start a new game against tougher enemies, but all your experience, weapons, armor, and money from the current game carries over. There are other surprises. So, as much as I'd like to show that off, we're actually going to time warp right before the fight with Nefarious, because Challenge Mode's a lot more difficult. It does have the Rhino... But I don't really want to do it right now. So what we're going to do now is head back. To Annihilation Nation and let's start clearing some of these out. First and foremost, let's take on this no hit challenge. Use Rift Inducer to destroy all opponents while under the... Oh, you don't, you don't want to do that yet. We're going to try this. Uh... Really?
Okay. She's been beaten. Good enough. Wonder why I can't refill on my uh Oh no, we have to go back to Slim to ref to refill that, don't we? All right, let's try to see. Let's get this working. I want to know why this gun wasn't working before. Yeah, now it's working. That's how it's supposed to work. I think it's small to medium-sized enemies only. And, of course, this will level up our, our weapon. What does V2 do? Uh, V2. Uh, automatically, black holes will combine together when they're enclosed to make a larger black hole, which creates stronger suction and can be used to destroy larger enemies. That's what we were missing before. It's really good. So when it works, it's actually a really, really useful weapon. There we go. It's a really good weapon when it works. God, we still got more uh, friggin' gauntlets to go through. All right, let's fight these. Uh, let's fight these bosses again. We'll start by uh, tossing out some some stuff here. Yeah. Enjoy the uh, black hole, nerds. <laughs> so what you can do is extend extend the lifespan of the the black hole by tossing another one before it goes out. I believe. Ah. Up, oh, cycling weapons. Here we go. This is going well. Another sleeping gas round, but we've got Inferno power. The Death Sphere can also damage enemies. So you want to try to get it to uh, work for you. See, the, those rockets are way more useful when the area is larger and there's more enemies around. Alright. Oh, and it gave me a... Uh, so it turned off the... Uh, oops. So here we can actually just use the Death Sphere to our advantage. 
instead of attacking the enemies, we just have them get hit by the sphere. Well, that time I'm going to attack because he was being a dick. Back to cycling weapons. Oh yeah, we ne oh shit. Never actually made use of this. Oh, I can't use my wrench here. Shit. See what I mean about this just being so damn good? Uh, there's so many different modes and things happening. And there we go. That guy whose name we couldn't say because the time ran out. Uh, okay, fine. We'll buy the damn Quacko Ray. And we should probably get the Flux Rifle because it might force us into one of those. So Quacko Ray is a joke weapon. That turns enemies into ducks. Luckily, all of these enemies are uh, small to medium, so they'll uh, transform a lot easier. Last round, here we go. Area. Easy 8,000 volts right there. So we're down to three. Okay, this, this one should be easy because I think as long as my disc gun still does the same amount of damage, we should knock them out no problem. Uh, so let's do another uh, gauntlet. Flux Rifle is an excellent one for sniping, and her sniper, press uh, equip and press L2. And there we go. Yeah, I know. Yes, I know. So for here, we're going to go with our disc gun. It's actually pretty powerful. Obviously, I mean, it's a sniper rifle, but... Rude. I was trying to do a thing.
That really shouldn't have worked. Let's be honest. Easy enough. And a skill point. Ooh, I wonder what that was. So we'll do that last. I know! I... Game. Game. So I'm curious. What skill point did we pick up? Beat all the gauntlet challenges. Okay, so we're, we're done with the gauntlets. Bash the bug. Hmm. It's a piercing weapon, which makes it really handy. But not not much more. So now we're going to start leveling up the bouncer. So the goal with the bouncer is we want to get all the enemies right next to one another. Oh. Rude. Because then we can take out all of them with one bouncer a shot. I mean, I could take that, but the point is we're trying to build up the bouncer. And I'm not going to be able to do that if I take the Inferno power. Made a face full of laser. Nice. That is some good timing. So we ha this one is a 90 second challenge. This one's a crappy plasma whip challenge. I don't like the plasma whip. But we're gonna do it. How the hell am I supposed to do this? See, this sucks because the plasma whip is fucking terrible. It does like no damage, but I'm supposed to.
Okay, so what we're gonna do here, this is very dumb. It's, we're gonna make use of friendly fire. That's the only way to do this. That's what I wanted. Because once that guy, once their their armor is off, it should take like one hit or so to knock him out. Itchy arm. This round may take a little while longer. Just because there's no whip whip enemies. Alright. There we go. There we go. Ah, die! Alright, this is gonna be tricky, but we got this. Ha! And that's how you complete that challenge. Also, that whip sucks. Yeah, no, if he was channeling his inner Belmont, he would be able to take them out with his, uh... With one shot. Alright, so what do we got here? We gotta use the Hydra. So again, what we can do... Is, this is gonna be a lot harder to take, to take on. So if we just whittle down the numbers and then blast them with the one shot, have a better chance of taking this challenge on. Whoop. Luckily, enemies do not do much damage. It is also pretty powerful. And only got to one more round, so. So this is where it's gonna try to waste your ammo, is with these guys. And there we go. So let's do the 90 second challenge. A lot of this is made easier by the fact that we're going in with version five weapons.
Now, the other thing, too, is, again, this is a penetrating weapon. So you only need to target a couple of enemies. And as long as there's other enemies in that path, they will go down, and they will go down quick. It's faster to just smack these with the wrench, to be honest. Look at that. Cleared him up, no problem. And there we go. 90 second challenge, done. And then it's, this one's just going to be the same thing, but with, like, long, more, uh, more rounds, I believe. Okay, so we get two minutes, nine rounds. Here, suck a bouncer. Definitely want to go with Inferno Power here. That laser cannon is really rude. Bam! Two minutes. All right, here we go. We gotta beat both bosses in two minutes. And that shouldn't be a problem because I have this. Yeah, this, this is going to be a fucking cakewalk. There you are. And there it is. But now we've got another another set where we got to do a bunch of waves and then face off against the gladiators, Gary and Helen. Trust me, this is going to be worth going through all these. They're fun on their on its head, but there's a there's a final thing you have to do, and it's just so damn good. There's no way we're getting to it tonight, though. Unless I just get really freaking good and blaze through. But there's definitely no way we'll finish it tonight because it's... Whew. Right now I'm going to see if I can level up to uh, the bouncer to five. That's what I'm hoping for. Timed round, okay. So just gotta blow everything up quickly. Which I did. 
naturally. Yeah, because this is a 24 round uh, match. Out of here. Hey. Little risky. So far, so good. Almost out of bouncer ammo, which is not that great, but the fact that it's taken us this uh, this far in is a good thing. Time round. He almost got past me. I almost lost that round because I couldn't figure out where that one dude was. How silly is that? Ah, no, that's Des Destry's back. Oh, they love their timed rounds, don't they? Worked out for the best. The love of God. Okay. Woo. We're actually strong enough to one hit most of these enemies, so. Okay, four rounds left. Up ah, right into the blade. Just gonna collect some ammo and then smash them. Oh, I almost... I missed that. Damn. Okay, here's the boss. Same strategy. You have reached your maximum nanotech level. Sweet. So now we've hit our full health. Oh, here it is. This is it. Uh, am I going to be able to do this? I don't think I'm going to be able to fucking do this. So for 200,000 volts, what do you think we're going to need to do? If you said last a hundred rounds, you are correct.
He thought he was clever. But I'm cleverer. Exactly. We're 12 rounds in. Timed around. Go, my precious bouncing Bettys. Ow! Rude. It's very easy to run out of ammo in this challenge. Because there's no, there's no breaks. It's all the way through. All 100 rounds. So we're out of bouncing uh, bouncer ammo. Now we have more bouncer ammo. Decimator, because I used it. There. Much better. Cutting that one close. Get in there. I was trying to center the camera. Whoop. And it did not work.
I still don't understand what they mean by sleeping gas. Because I've never had, I've never seen the effect of it. Forty rounds. Okay. No, I'm gonna say the mini disc gun because there is bosses. He just kind of jumped his way in there, so that, that's fine. Works for me. Now, there's one big downside. Uh, because we maxed out our health, I can no longer uh, get uh, health, health restoration. Oh, sleeping gas lowers my health by a point. Okay. Now I'm noticing it. But then it goes back up to the, uh, the, the hit points you had prior to it, which is actually a really good design move. What am I missing? Uh, video game? Really? Boss time, as I called it. Goal is to make him go away. Boss battle done with. Halfway through. There's a chance we might be able to do this. It 
it's slim, but it really. Why do you do me like this game? Something weird is going on here. I think I've ever seen the AI do do that. Yeah, see those two of them just kind of chilling in there. That's not going well. There we go. Shit. Running out of ammo. We're at round 59 now. I'm trying to figure out why they keep getting stuck here. It's very weird. Thank you. Holy crap. Guess while you take care of those. I mean, the one turret is good for plenty of enemies. Cycling weapons, good. I can't believe it gave me plasma whip ammo. Ugh. Might as well make use of this this little weapon here.
Level 7, or round 70, rather. We're almost there. That's right, I forgot about the rip, rip gun. I like the cycle weapon rounds a lot. can't get that in, uh, Inferno power because I'm still on a uh, weapon switch. Weapon cycle. Where is it? Ah! There! That means this asshole is going to be hiding in there. Fight for me, my minions. Protect your great master. One of these days we'll figure out what this glitch is. In the meantime... Three of them that time. Yeah, give me back my uh, weapon cycle. Oop. Thank you. Good robots. Very helpful robots. Round 90.
Okay. This is it, 97. Double up on Inferno power. And the shithead. And this shithead. Round 100, baby. Suck my metal saw blade. Yeah. Bam! We did it! I actually didn't think I was going to pull that off at all. I remember that being way, 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 way harder. Huh. That was still fun, though. But yeah, holy shit. I thought, no, you know, maybe I actually did that on challenge mode, and that might explain why it was so much harder for me. Who knows? But anyway, so that. That's Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. I mean, there's still some other stuff, but it's mostly, you know, more of the sieges, um, hunting down trophies. Uh, there's the second playthrough, which gives you access to the Rhino 3, which costs 3 million bolts, so fuck that. Um, as well as uh, looking for the trophies and the titanium uh, bolts. So, I mean, there's, that's, it's interesting side stuff if you're all about that collecting thing. Me, I just wanted to get through the main story and finish off the entire arena to show you just how much fun it is. Um, so this is the best game in the franchise, and I will physically fight anybody who tries to say otherwise. But that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching, and of course, I will see you on the next one, which is going to be Ratchet and Clank 4 Deadlocked, which is not as good, I'm sorry. But I'll see you on the next one. Later.